results to June 24. Maybe just a step back, we started the year with guidance to the market, I think, for a 10 to 15% negative result. Um, at the half year mark, we updated that 10 to 12, and we've come in at the lower end of that, so 10% 10, 10 negative. Um, if you have to see any positive in that, that's, uh, it's at the bottom end of the negative range. So right across the board, operationally things are actually pretty sound, pretty solid. But the interest factor weighs extremely heavily right across the group. The bottom line is interest had a very, very severe impact and the biggest factor by far, let's give it that 80% weighting, is, is, due to, is due to interest rates and the, and, the, and the impact of. So it's higher interest rates and it's also the cost of re-hedging uh, older interest rate swaps that might have been at lower rates, you're now renewing them at higher rates, and then also cross-currency interest rate swaps, you know, renewing these cross-currency interest rate swaps that we use to fund our investment in the offshore entities. So we've guided for between 2% and 5% negative again next year, and it's not that dissimilar. The story, again, is probably 80% of that, again, is still interest rates. And you might say, but why? Because we're actually talking about interest rates coming down, sort of maybe as soon as September, you know, the first 25 basis point cut. So that's obviously only going to impact the second half of 25. So by the time the impact of that comes through already into October, November, so it's only for the half year. v &A, <clears throat> 87 million up. Just, uh, you know, very, very strong performance. Tourism very strong down there. Lots of growth and expansion. And, and, and tactically and strategically at the waterfront, um, we're taking more and more what we call operating risk. The one transaction which we are quite proud of, because once again it's quite uh, innovative and it's the first of its kind, is the conclusion of the um, PPA transaction with Etana. Now, what does that really mean and why would we do that uh, and, and what's the sort of purpose? So if we think about electricity supply, there's two kind of aspects which we are, or maybe three, that we are giving quite a lot of attention to. Firstly, you know, ideally we're trying to get green energy into our portfolio because that speaks to becoming uh, carbon neutral towards 2050. Okay? So the more green energy we can use, the better it is for, for improving that uh, objective. The second thing is keeping our costs down from an electricity perspective and then also thinking about the escalations that Eskom uh, want to pass through to, to us and our clients ultimately. You know, we're trying to manage that so this, these, this PPA does that.